Welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. And I'm Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So for today's subject... Filipinas no label relationship. Ooh, I'm curious. Okay. So before we start, tegan salamat sa yung suporta ang pagigugma sa among channel. Thank you so much, guys, for your support and love. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new uploads. Or new videos. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start and talk about this subject. Because for sure, they're so excited to know. Yeah, of course. Of course. Not just only you guys, but also our Filipina subscribers too, right? Yes. Yeah, so there are actually labeled and unlabeled. So we're not talking about canned goods here, guys. We're talking about relationship. Okay, relationship. So in a relationship, there are like things that uh, we need to um, tackle. Yes, true. And the first one is? Label. Label. So label, most, not just Filipinas, but all around the world, women wants their relationship to be, of course, labeled because it shows that you're serious with her. You, like, you're showing that she is your girl. It's like that. She is your woman. Yes, and um, as a Filipino, as a Filipino man or a guy, a Filipina would uh, really say that uh, she is secure when the relationship is already labeled. Like you are in a relationship already. Yes, so it's like announcing that this is my woman, this is my girlfriend, this is the love of my life. So well, in fact, no one can definitely like date you anymore because you already have a girlfriend. It's like showing that you already own her or she already owns you. Yes, and uh, when you come here in the Philippines, you have a purpose. Um, yeah, a purpose why you are here, not only for vacation. And you have reason also to come back. Because your Filipina is here. True. So there are actually two types of Filipinas, guys. The one that are slow and the one that are fast. So I would say slow is because even though that you already show gestures that you're in love with her, that you, you already have pin names of love, sweetie, honey, and you exchange I love you already, some Filipinas are really slow. They would think, oh, he didn't actually ask me that if I, I can, like, he di didn't ask me if I could be his girlfriend. So maybe we're still friends. We're still in the stage of getting to know each other. And we also have Filipinas that are fast. Can you try to explain what kind of Filipina is that? So, unlabeled Filipinas are those Filipinas, of course, guys, you're already thinking negative things. Maybe she already has a lot of multiple partners. You're not alone. She's dating a lot of foreigners. Um, she's like chatting a lot of foreigners. But there are also positive things about unlabeled relationship. So, some Filipinas would not label the relationship because they want to know you more, right? Correct. And uh, it, well, I think that's common for Filipinas who want to like not to fall in love right away because of maybe um, their their past, right? They want to move on and they really want to know the, the guy if this guy is really worth it to to love right yes true because 
because of their maybe past experience or they never experienced dating a foreigner and for them the, this is new this is a new situation this can be like i would say for them a major change cuz they don't know your background yet they don't know if what's your intention so they would always think that oh i really need to know him first before we go on a relationship mm-hmm. cuz Filipinas there are Filipinas that are dead serious about relationship guys. True. So sometimes Filipinas would think if I would start this relationship there is um they would think that there is a major um adjustment adjustment and major also I would say like it would become marriage like there is a there is a possibility there is a possibility that um you and her would become husband and wife in the future so that's the reason why they would always try to before they would label a relationship they want to um get to know you first yeah getting to know each other is really important also because uh if you really jump into the relationship right away it's really there will be like a lot of things that you might encounter than knowing the person uh knowing the the person or the background the the people the the people like surrounds him or surrounds her right yes cuz you know in the boyfriend girlfriend stage there are a lot of excitements there um i would say you will never know a person at that stage yet especially at the early stages right yes you have to uh acquire more like years or let's say for example 2 to 3 to know the person because maybe she's hide she's just hiding or you're just hiding something because in relationship or on that stage like being a boyfriend and girlfriend for you cannot know the person in just months true for me to know a person it really take a lot of years especially if you're living far away mm yeah yeah long distance relationship is so hard to know a person So that's the reason why most Filipinos sometimes sometimes um they would take some time to chat with you and they would not directly label your relationship as boyfriend and girlfriends yet because they really want to make sure what are your intentions and what kind of person you are So there are also Filipinas guys I know uh as me yeah you're just stating the the positive things. Yes, there are also negative things that some Filipinas would not label your relationship because maybe they have multiple foreigners that they're chatting with. Um they just don't want to be like I would say they don't want to be in a serious relationship yet, yeah. right? Yeah, because they because there are some filipinas some filipinas they they love to play like yes. they love to play um but not all maybe few few of them few but few. there are some filipinas who don't really want to jump into a relationship already because um because of their past like we mentioned earlier and she or yeah she she wants to know you more because for you have different you know culture um nationality so that's why or that's the reason why and you are living far away it's really hard to know each other if you are in a long distance relationship that's why you have to uh come here in the philippines to meet your filipina maybe once or twice a year just to show that you are uh, you have a a good intention to your filipina because some filipina would really do like that like you 
how she really tests your um what do you call this patience like in a relationship if you are serious about her and this would be also vice versa some of you guys are the same too you're trying to really know the filipina well before you know labeling the relationship we actually know that we're just explaining the side of filipinas so even, also even us like, yeah even we, us we like know uh we like talk about it like okay we have to to know each other first before we jump into a relationship because maybe you don't like my attitude or yeah. my family or my friends M much be better like you have to know yeah that's the reason why roger um court me for two years because i really want to know him better and i want to s to let him see what is my real personality and what is my family before he would be my boyfriend yeah the good thing yeah. is um i and esme like really close to each other like yeah. we are best a friend. best friend yes it's like that's the good thing about building a relationship as this is also my advice because some there are also fast filipinas we call it fast filipinas because even though that you don't know them yeah they just want they directly label the relationship that you're already boyfriend and girlfriends yeah right they're owning you already that they're proclaiming you that they're that they're already like your girlfriend and of course you didn't court her you just chatted her but there are filipinas like that yeah, yeah. she's just claiming right away even if you are in the stage where like getting to know each other so yeah. that kind of filipina would be a, a red flag so you have to uh to limit or like distance yourself because we do not know what what would be her intention yeah, intention if it's good or not yeah because for me this is the personality of a filipina they don't open those types of topics or those types of conversation mm -hmm. are we already boyfriends or girlfriend or they're already trying they're already doing honey how are you that's already a red flag for me yeah a filipina which has a good intention she will wait up until you initiate like properly court her yeah properly court her that's the most i think that is one of the i think the most basic personality of a filipina they mostly wait they don't initiate true yes so thank you so much guys for watching till the end and we really miss you and hope that we can do a live someday yes, yes. so we have to set a schedule uh, we've been busy lately preparing things and uh, we're planning we're planning also to go to Cebu and hopefully we can make it because as me uh really want to visit her uh family yes so hopefully guys thank you thank you so much and see you in our next vlog bye, bye.